Guys, thanks for tuning into our podcast. If you do enjoy this, please make sure you share it with a mate. It's not that much uh, that we're asking. We really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, just keep listening and hope you enjoy the banter that we've been having. If you were an item of clothing, what would you be and why? Probably going to go fingerless gloves. They'll get me to lay some pipe. Pleasure or business. Yeah, pleasure or business. Yeah, uh, it was definitely pleasure. But yeah, it's been a tough Monday. <laughs> I wet the bed for 16 years, so... Yeah. Fifth, right. Turkey people fucking grow up. Turkey people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turkeys. Turkeys, <laughs> Turkeys, I'm coming for you. Turkeys. The turkeys oh, grow up. Hey guys, welcome back to On the Pierce with Klutz um, and Das, who's not with us today. He's uh, battling. Shame on hard. you, Das. Bloody oath. We're meant to have someone else come in as well. Um, another man. I Jackson. come all the way from Cairns, and you're not here. And he's just he's just fucking dogged us. <sighs> but that's all right. You, it's expected from him. Um, <laughs> things could be a little bit looser this week. We don't know. Um, so we'll see what happens. But yeah. Um, got our guest here, uh, Big Mitchie Spencer, mate. How are you? Yeah, pretty bloody good, mate. How are you? Oh, spectacular. It's lovely to see you. Yeah, it's good to see your head. Bloody big brother contestant from 2021, mate. Oh, yeah, but you know what, mate? It's just, uh, I'm not the big brother guy you think I am. I'm just a nice, normal bloke, and I'm just here to sit down and have a beer with me, mate. Yeah, bloody oh, Cheers to that, Cheers, mate. mate. Cheers to that. This bootstrap stuff. Bloody oh, that's a good sip. If only you could get it up in cans, eh? Yeah, well, you can get it in cans. <laughs> <laughs> fucking it's up. in a can right now. You're a fucking, you're a dickhead, but we love you. <laughs> 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 nah, um, yeah, mate. So obviously you're down in Brizzy this weekend. Um, fuck, we usually. I'm gonna put you on the spot here. We usually used to have a segment for new people. Um, two truths and one lie. Two truths and one lie. Yeah, two truths and one lie. Oh just god, to get, just to get to know people yeah. a bit better. Yeah. Um, can you? So two, two, two truths and one lie. lie. How do you play that? You just you, you just you say, say you say three things and yeah. then two of them have to be true and one yeah, of them and one has to be a lie. And I got to pick it. All right, so. I've turned three girls lesbian. <laughs> yep. I stayed at a drug lord's house in um, Belgium for Tomorrowland. Yep. And I accidentally ran over my cousin's cat. <laughs> um. I'm going to say running over the cousin's cat. Is what? Is false. Is not true. You're, you're 100% correct. Fuck yeah. Awesome. And congratulations. Hey, thanks, mate. Well, <laughs> so, the other um, two are pretty outrageous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of, bit of background. A drug lord's house in Belgium. Oh, yeah. No, my mate met this dude on a mango farm when he was um, uh, working on this mango farm up in, up in a place called Mariba yeah. near Cairns. And this dude was like, yeah, man, I'm from Belgium. I am I am a drug lord over there. I've got lots of money. When you come over to Belgium, I'll sort you out, man. Ah, I don't even know if that's a Belgium accent, but... It is now. Yeah, it is now. Pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah, so when we went over there for Tomorrowland, my mate was like, no, we're staying at this guy's house. We don't need to book accommodation. I'm like, bro, are you sure, man? Like, he was a backpacker picking mangoes. I don't think he's a millionaire. Yeah, no, that's And so, so we rock up to this property, bro, and it was like insane. Like massive property. He has a wheat farm to launder his drug money. And he has all these rich cars and stuff. Gone around the the the, the farm on, on a quad bike. He let us shoot all his rifles. Oh, Our pre-drinks yeah. for Tomorrowland was shooting a rifle at Cairns. That's uh, so scar. I know. And then on the third night, we stayed there. We'd stayed up for about three days. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he had a domestic with his missus and we saw him chase his missus into the forest and we heard gunshots. And we're like, She's ki- he's killed his missus. And so we were like, oh God. So we started packing our stuff and just as we were about to go downstairs, the missus comes up crying. He's like, you, like don't, don't pack up your stuff. Go, go to bed. He'll fucking kill you. Far yeah. out. That's yeah. so insane. And then the next day we woke up, like nothing even happened. He cooked us breakfast and it was just like nothing happened. Fuck, what a... What a weird dude. Yeah. Who goes from slinging pingers and stuff overseas to um to picking mangoes in Australia? Well, that's, that's so what scary. you have to do when you go on a visa in Australia. Yeah, you have to do farm okay, work fair, for fair. like so nine months or something. A mango picker. Yeah. That's so he so had scary. to do it. Rich or not, you got yeah. to do it. Part fuck. of your visa. That's yeah. so insane. Mm. Uh, but yeah, mate. Like, fuck. So how, how was the old Big Brother experience? Just so, I remember. So last year, you just hit me up eh, and was like, I'm going on Big Brother. I was like, fuck yeah well BBB on there at, the, at the start it was like 
I was in lockdown in Cairns and um lost my job. Mm. And I was like, oh, I saw the ad pop up. Didn't even know Big Brother was still a thing. Yeah. And I just was like, I've got 20 minutes to spare on this application. <laughs> so I filled out the application and just like the story I just told you about turning three girls lesbian. Yeah. It's like, what is one of the most bizarre things that you've done? And I said, turn three girls lesbian in one of the questions. <laughs> and I just answered every single question as a joke. And then I send them, you have to send them a two minute video. Yeah, and we could even get the video up now. I could probably send it to you. Yeah, you can get right. it up now. It's a it's a two minute video, <coughs> literally of me going around my house and just saying, "Hi, I'm, I'm Mitch. I like birds, <laughs> and this is my dog." And then they just kept <laughs> bringing me back. And I was having Skype interviews and everything. They just kept bringing me back, and I, I was just tuning them, absolutely tuning That's them. So funny. Yeah, they did run the old bird narrative a bit on. I there. know, I know, but I am oh. more than just a bird guy. All right. <laughs> I'm a normal bloke that sits down and has beers with the boys and I, I watch hope. the footy. I'm just a good, nice bloke. I I don't just hide in bushes all weekends hoping that a bird's going to come along. <laughs> the yeah, feathered that, kind. The, <laughs> I reckon you um, hide in bushes for the unfeathered kind as well, though. Sometimes. Yeah, just... <laughs> But we're not here to judge and we're not here to kink shame. So yeah, that's, that's right. Uh, that's the main thing. I'm, but, I'm just not allowed near a school, that's all. Yeah, but that's okay. Most people aren't. <laughs> I know I'm not, so... But yeah, mate, um... So, fuck, so it was all filmed like... See, this is something that rocks me, is that it was all filmed, like, last year. Six six months ago, six, man. Like, that's that's Started insane. filming there, so October. Uh, yeah. mid, Mid-October. That's so scared. Yeah, and um, I remember I was in um, lockdown for seven days in Sydney... Mm. before I went into the house. Yeah. And they COVID test you every day because imagine COVID getting into the Big Brother house. That'd be so But scary. to be honest, how good TV would that be? That would be so <laughs> good. Yeah. Everyone just getting sick. Everyone who gets evicted just dies. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be good TV. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Yeah, but... Um, to Sky, right? Yeah, they took it pretty, pretty seriously and then I just remember I was in this hotel room for about seven days and yeah. um, it's just because they don't want us to go out in the community and potentially get it. Yeah. And... um. Yeah, so, like, we were supposed to go in on the Thursday. Yeah. And then there was a massive fire at Manly North Heads. And the fire was right next to the Big Brother house. They had Holy firefighters shit. fighting this fire so the Big Brother house wouldn't burn down. And I was like, just my luck. get up, Go through all of this, interview yeah. interviews, get the time off work, and then the, the house burns down. That'd be so fun. Yeah, and so then... We were meant to go on the Friday. The fires were still going. And then we were allowed to go in on the Saturday. And I just remember coming in and some of the furniture in the outside patio sort of area mm. had like holes in it from like embers. Like soot and shit. And I'm like, holy fucking shit. Hell. The fire was actually pretty close. Dead close. Yeah, yeah that's so <laughs> fucking scarred. I know. But um, yeah. Because you're one of the first ones to go in, hey? Yeah, right? yeah, I was a f- I was um in the first group. Yeah, yeah. the OGs. The OGs. OG Mitch. Yeah. Not, un- not unlike that fake Mitch. No. <laughs> you don't like fake Mitch. <laughs> it's like, congratulations, mate. You're mm. the most ripped bloke in there. Of course, you're going to be winning challenges. <laughs> yeah. Like, grow up, mate. Yeah, mate. This isn't Stereo Sonic. You don't have to muzz. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck it, hell. But um, it was funny, hey, like, because Mitch and I used to work together at Grilled. So, um... Wait. Me or the other Mitch? No, you, bro. Okay, good. Yeah, no, I don't want anything to do with the other, with fake Mitch. <laughs> He's not really a Mitch to me. But, um, yeah, it's funny, like, because like, you'd obviously told me you were going on and then um, just getting all these messages from people from Grill just being like, what the fuck, Mitch is on Big Brother? Like, what do you expect? It's going to be great <laughs> television. Yeah, I know. Like, all my, all my mates and just getting, like, getting messages from people that I haven't talked to in, like, 10 years. Like, yeah. trying to, you know, oh, Mitch is cool now like yeah. <laughs> i can talk to him now yeah, yeah but like, um thanks for picking on me yeah high school fucker, yeah, yeah. like even now. like people in cans that i would never talk to in a million years like big muscly roided up dudes come up to yeah. me in the street mitch hey man you're such a good bloke it's like <sighs> fuck off idiot <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, but it was funny before actually we um walked into the caco and one of the bartenders is like oh <laughs> you're mitch from big brother he's like no nah. Yeah, um, no. that's what I do. I just deny it, and then it confuses them even more. Like, yeah. I swear it's you, but I'm like, no, nah, not me. <laughs> yeah, even at work, man, it's like because I do the uh, admin stuff for the COVID testing in Cairns. Yeah. Someone will come through for a COVID test, and I look at me, like, tap on the window. Are you Mitch from Big Bell? I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I'm a bird. W- uh, I mean, he was a bird watcher. Why would I be here doing admin stuff? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, fair point. You look yeah. like him, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, really? 
Yeah, yeah fuck. I got I got messages. Hey, um, at the start of it, being like, oh, um, thought you're on Big Brother. Uh, do you have a brother on Big Brother? I was like, fuck. Just because bikes have mustaches. Yeah, I know. Well, that's the funny thing. Like, um, when they were like. There's like a big fan base of Big Brother and they yeah. always try and figure out who the housemates are from the trailers. Yeah. And they pretty much figured everyone out except for me. Really? Because um, Katie, who was on the show, had a friend called Jake Waters. Yeah. And he has a mustache and he has the same weird eyes as me and he yeah. just looked exactly like me. So everyone on these forums and shit was saying, Jake Waters is on Big Brother. So everyone thought that my name is Jake Waters. I listened to multiple <laughs> podcasts that were that would talk about maths, that would talk about Big yeah. Brother, all that sort of stuff. And they were like, oh, and Jake Waters is on Big Brother. Like, all right. And I'm just like, little do they know, yeah, it's just it's, me. It's just little big, little, big, big Mitty. Little Big Mitty. Little yeah. Big Mitty's fans. Yeah, from Cairns. And, <laughs> and, and so on Sportsbet, um, they had Jake Waters' name down as me to bet on Big Brother. Oh, my God. For like two weeks. Fine. And I was like rattled. And so I messaged Jake Waters like, Mate, so apparently you were on Big Brother, eh? Eh? Hey? <laughs> and he just gave me the scene. I'm like, hey, too much, too, too much of a coward to reply, eh, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. So but watching funny. like Jake was, and then when they released my name finally, and it changed to Mitchell Spencer, the yeah. sports bet people must have felt like such fucking idiots. Fuck yeah. That's actually massive though. Like, not many people can say their name was on sports bet. I know, I know. Unless we invent a sport. Yeah. We can, know. we can invent a sport. We have had discussions about this before, but I don't know what sort of sport I would want to invent. It'd have to involve some sort of um, alcohol. Yeah, like an alcoholic con. Well, like- this year at the um, Olympics, <laughs> um, this year at the Olympics, the uh, skateboarding is a sport now. Yeah. And um, something else. rock climbing yeah. Yeah. Rock and climbing. surfing. How do you judge someone on rock climbing? Oh, wh- whoever doesn't die. <laughs> 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 That's how you judge him. Yeah, so, fuck. oh, fuck, he fell far. <laughs> yeah. Who's next? <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm. Um, but, you know, it was pretty funny, man. Like, I remember um, watching the first night or something and seeing, um, who was it, Danny? Yeah. Big bad Danny. And, yeah. bro, I remember messaging the general. you being like, who is this fuckwit? Yeah, and you were everyone like, messaged me. You were like, wait, just wait. Yeah, yeah, everyone was messaging me. Yeah, like, this like my Danny guy day. is a flog. Like, fuck Danny. Even people at work, like, fuck Danny. He sucks. Yeah. I'm like, don't worry, mate. Just watch First night out. I was there, I thought this guy's a wanker. Yeah. He's a real estate agent. Yeah, fuck, fuck this guy. It. Yeah, but literally, he's honestly hands down the best and most genuine person in that house. Yeah, eh? He is a lord. Like he when, is an absolute lord. The way he manipulates people, yeah. and then like he's just so funny as well. Like he's yeah. just just an open book. He'll just could just come up to your face and say, "I don't like your head. Change yeah. it." <laughs> and then you're like, "Thanks <laughs> yeah. for being honest." Yeah, like cheers. Instead of bitching about it behind behind my back. Yeah, <laughs> I um, it, I reckon that'd be so hard, eh? Because like. You definitely hate some people in there, but it'd be so hard to find. Oh, if mate. You, if you hated people and showed it, it's so it, exhausting. Ex- you experience it's so shit. It's so exhausting pretending to like people. Yeah. And you're surrounded by cameras all day. So you yeah. have to. You yeah. have to. Like, it was so exo- Like, me and SJ got off on the right foot at the start. Yeah. But, um,. As the series progressed, I started to see through the bullshit. Yeah. I'm like, this, she's full of it. Like, I remember actually, there was one of the eliminations and they showed just a snippet of what you said and it was like, oh, I'm starting, like the bullshit meter's going like Yeah, this yeah, the bullshit was, meter has yeah. been going off for quite a while now. She needs to go. Yeah. And then we evicted her and she fucking came back. Yeah, that's such a And then I got put in a cage. <laughs> Yeah, see, I missed that whole episode. You got to watch it, and man. that was when you fucking got shafted. Yeah, you got to watch it. The whole yeah. episode revolves around me. That's so far. Yeah, like yeah. when I asked out Christina, "Oi, oi, come here." Did you watch that? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah oi, yeah. come here. <laughs> Iconic. <laughs> yeah, far. And that fuck, they um stitched you up with that as well, eh? I know. It's like a like, three hour, three hour date. Yeah. And I went on the date simply because. Three housemates in the house said that Christina liked me. I'm like, well, I've got to shoot my shot because that'll yeah. be very dominant of me. Yeah, bloody yeah, on national TV. That, that's a flex, Even yeah. if she rejects me, I'm still gonna. It's still gonna work in my favour. Yeah, exactly. And then so I went on this date with her, and um, like it went for three hours, and I just remember I talked to her. Like I asked her all the right questions. Like I know how to date chicks. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to sit down and have fucking food with chicks. I know how to talk. I don't just talk about birds and platypus. And so 
I talked about her life the whole time. Mm. The one question she answered me was like about birds and platypuses. I talked yeah. about it for five minutes mm. and they just edited that in yeah. and it made it look like I was just talking about that. And that's just a, a classic stitch up. Yeah, a I bunch know. Of fuckwits. But to be honest, I haven't gotten one troll. Everyone really? else has been getting really hammered yeah. with, with the trolls. And so I think the only troll I got was this big roided, <coughs> this big roided dude it was mm. like, mate, you're bloody sick in the head thinking that you'd ever have a chance with someone like Christina. Mm. And then I'm just like, I'm not a coward. I shoot my shot when I please. And I said, <laughs> you seem like a real genuine bloke though. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. See you at stereo next year. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah fuck. That'd be, oh, that'd be the one downside, eh? Particularly like social media and shit. Mm. You know, just getting roasted by random people. Well, I'm actually I've I've been getting some great messages. I can yeah. read some out for you. Yeah, if you definitely want. go for it, man. Um, there's this one guy. Mm. He wants <laughs> see. I, it's like one of those things where it's a bit touch and go. You don't know if you should actually do what they want you to do. Yeah, uh, it's this guy who wants me to get onto um, his film and television assignment. He's doing a documentary on mullets. And he sent me a list of questions. He's like, please send me a video of you responding to these questions. And I'm just like, oh, I'm a go with mullet Maybe. mustache. I'm 26. Shouldn't be sending videos to kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For a school project. Yeah, that's like, so scary. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see if I can find It is absolutely hilarious. I, I reckon you get some weird... Like, actually, I was having a lot of people commenting. There's like... um. Big Brother fan pages or something. It was like this little kid or something. So it was like, Mitch, please follow me back. Like, yeah, like, bro. I oh, well, I had um, <clears throat> I had my dad's mate who lives in Tassie. Mm. His kid was a big fan of me, and my yeah. dad was really like, "Please, can you follow him on Instagram so <sighs> my mate can stop bugging me about it?" So I yeah. followed him on Instagram. Probably went around to all the school kids. Like, Mitch, you follow oh, me. My God. It's just like, it feels sort of nice though. Yeah, nah, you it's, know, it's like someone actually like, you know, it's you around, made yeah. a difference. It's awesome. I'm trying to find this. Um, Fuck, that's a lot of message requests. Bro, it's just... Do you have many people slide into your DMs? A lot. Yeah. Dude, like, it's insane. Like... Fucking hell. Um, that's ridiculous. Like, look at this shit. Your hand's down my fave and I'm fucking shattered. I can't feast my eyes upon that. So <laughs> like, yeah. Like, someone try. People try to call me all the time. What the fuck? Yeah, they try to call me. That's so scat. I hope, uh, look, oh. Mitty, I've been listening to the podcast with Tully and I like you even more. You are the best. You're my favorite housemate. And I'm sad you're gone. Sorry for my English. I've been following Big Brother from Uruguay. What the fuck? Yeah, f a bit far. Hope you are lucky enough to come back or at least take on other projects. Wow. Big love. Like Uruguay. That's so fucking scat. Yeah, Uruguay. Jeez. Look at this. Curious if you're circumcised or uncircumcised. What? Yeah. <laughs> and this guy, this guy is like definitely not straight. <clears throat> yeah. But um, yeah. What a weird like. Yeah, that's um, it's a little bit interesting. Some like, people are just fucking scared. Some of them are like, it's like mullets and mows that like birds and platypus is a vibe. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, love. Fuck, there's that many um, messages here. I don't think I can find the mullet documentary guy. That's so far. He is... F oh, he had a mullet himself and he looked like there was something wrong with him. Yeah. But anyway, right. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Look. No, Mitch. No, my fave cheeky vote's got on you. Yeah, let's hope down Nick Mel and Christina can avenge you. Jesus. And then if Christina was one of the ones that evicted me. So well, yeah, that doesn't a, make what sense. What a dog. Yeah. Have you ever hit her up about that? Oh, mate. It's all going to come out at the finale. Yeah, good. You got to pretend that you're still have friends it, with them. Yeah, fuck. Have you... Yes, yeah, so what's the go? Have you done the finale yet? Or do you have to... The finale is 29th of June and yeah. it's live. Oh, fuck. So no editing. It's just going to be me in the limelight <laughs> going, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you're cool. <laughs> fuck you. Sisters. <laughs> fuck it. That'll and be so good. Yeah, like Sonia's going to be asking the questions like, Mitchell, how do you feel about Brenton and um, Christina? And I'm just oh. going to be sitting next to Brenton, put my arm around him saying, <coughs> me and Brendan, uh, me and Brenton are fighting in the car park after this. <laughs> We're gonna sort it out ourselves, Sonia. That'd be so fucking good. Yeah, and then he'll be like, "What the fuck?" <coughs> He's gonna say, "Because right. Brendan would be able to flog me." And he's a big dude, bro. How scats this? He used to work with Das. Really? So Das was saying, "Because what did he put up? He's an account manager or something. Something stupid. Something scat." So Darcy just left his previous job yeah. for another job, 
And one of the people he used to work with sent him a message when he, uh, his first week at the new job and was like, do you remember that dude who just randomly left last year? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, well, he's going on Big Brother. Oh, and he was Brenton. like an accounts manager or something. At and it was Club. Brenton because he's meant to be a chef, I think. Yeah, and then, I don't know. It's so scat, man. Well, this is what's f- hilarious. Yeah. I'm going to get into the details here. Mm. Um, so, Brett, like, I didn't get with Christina. I get mm. evicted. Brendan comes in, gets with Christina, mm. right? Yeah. I watched one of the episodes, and Brett, out of all the beds he could have chosen, he chose my bed to sleep oh, in. no. He was sleeping in my bed. No. But you know what I was thinking about? So, on day 18... <laughs> Day 18 of the Big Brother house. Yeah. I was very toey. Yeah. Understandable. You, mate, 18 days without, you know, having a... Chucking the chicken. Yeah, yeah. chucking the chicken. <coughs> and um, I woke up one morning and everyone was asleep and I just had, you know, the morning yeah, morning something. Yeah. And um, I'm like, this is a perfect opportunity. Like, maybe my feelings for Christina will go away after this. <laughs> And so I got, I went, reached into my sock drawer. I'm like, imagine if they were filming this. And I hoisted my leg up and I went at it into my sock. And then I put the sock into the bottom drawer. And then when I got put in the cage before my eviction, the housemates had to pack my bags for me. And I'm there in the cage going, oh, no. everyone, think, everyone was thinking I was stressing out about the eviction. I was stressing about my cum sock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they're going to find it. They're going to find it. And then I get back to the hotel after I got evicted. I'm like, it's not here. Oh, no. It's still in the bottom drawer. And so Brendan was sleeping in my bed. When he would have been putting his clothes in the drawer, he would have found my cum sock. No. <laughs> I dominated his bed. Oh, my God. That I, is, I, I christened his bed. That is the biggest I, I christened his bed before he christened the bed. <laughs> Holy fuck. That is. I had a feeling fuck. the night before. I'm like, I feel like I'm going home soon. I've got to do Just what my bucket list said, and yeah. I've got to. I got to throw a chicken before. Um. Yeah. Fuck. Did you? Um, did you do most of your bucket list things then? That's a big thing to tick off the bucket list. I know. Yeah. Fuck. Well, I showered naked every single day. People would shower in their bathers. I'm like, mate, they're not yeah. going to film us showering together. Yeah. It's not the old big. I was going to ask that actually because um, Mel, there was something where she had to hide a sheep. Yeah. And there was a camera above the toilet. Yeah, there's, we like, there's cameras in the toilet. Is Big Brother just going to be perfect? No, but on the thing like, is, the thing is, is um, the cameras above the toilet, they only use them mm. if you are in the toilet either crying yeah. and they're worried about you yeah. or you're um, talking strategy with someone in the cubicle next to you. Yeah. They won't actually just say, oh, Mitch is doing a poo. Let's have a look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got Mitch is in the toilet. Let's watch him do a poo. <laughs> <laughs> and I would actually take the batteries out of my battery pack for my microphone when I do a shit because I'm like, this poor producer. <laughs> yeah. I don't want him fucking yeah. just, just hearing. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the funny things is, is um, Big Brother actually was one of the, f- like he was very witty and very hilarious. Yep. Not the serious guy you see on TV. Yeah, yeah. So like every night the boys would all like, when we're going to sleep, we would go around and uh, tell each other real fucked up jokes. Yeah. And um, someone told a really bad joke one night and Big Brother just played crickets over the sound, <laughs> the whole entire sound system. And then I remember we were playing battle shits. Oh, no, it was um, <laughs> Danny and Nick were playing battle shits in the toilets. Yeah. And um, like Nick did a massive one. And then, yeah. and then Big Brother comes over the speaker. You've sunk my destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> How Fun funny is that? So funny. Yeah, he actually gets around the chat. Yeah. Like some days he'd do like really long days and he would be stuttering heaps. <laughs> and like you'd be in the diary room and he'd be like, <laughs> and you'd just say, ah, big brother, stuttering, big, eh? Yeah. And he's just like, big brother's had a long day. Like, <laughs> it's like, ah. Fuck, it's so funny. Yeah. Right, um, so you obviously were mates with Danny and Nick and the good side of the house. Yeah, Danny, uh, Nick, um, Mel, and Tilly were my. Yeah, they were my. They're people. awesome. And Love then them. Nick, I mean, no, not Nick. Sid and Christina. I was, I was yep. tight with them, but they dogged the fuck out of me. Yeah, and I had no idea that they were doing that behind my back. Yeah, and, that sucks. You know, but kudos to them. Kudos to Sid, even mm. though he's a snake. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
if he came up to me and told me about the chicks in the attic, I would have gone straight to Dan. Yeah. <laughs> and I would have told him yeah, straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Imagine if he told me and imagine if I told Dan about it. Yeah, it would have been shit. would have been... Yeah. How good... How, see, this is what I don't get about Big Brother. How much better would that be on TV if yeah. I found out about it and told Danny and then there was a massive war? Yeah, it would have been awesome. Yeah, it instead so of this good. sneaky stuff going on behind our backs. Yeah. So, um, I hated how, like... After every challenge, Katie would run over and yeah, be whisper like, oh, stuff, sweet nothings, like, protect me. Or yeah, protect sweet nothings. Like, who you fucking gotta, cares? Yeah, like, like it's, grow it's up. There, it's there, the, like, the, the reason why I hated her from the get go is um, who was the first fellow that got evicted? Max. Yeah. Yeah. So they dated or something, and she was like, "Oh, it's my ex, Bro, it's my ex." Eight, and eight years, eight years ago. ago and I was like, you would have it's been It's not 18. a big deal. No. Like, Just say you know him. Up. Don't yeah. say you dated. Yeah. It's and like, so that instantly put a target on his back, the poor yeah. bloke. And he was yeah. actually a nice bloke. Yeah, he seemed like a good Yeah, fella. like me and him like, hit it off from the start. And mm. another thing they didn't show was like when I was playing the game hard is I was like, Max is a challenge beast. He's an Iron Man. I need, mm. to, I need to help Max because he will help me. Yeah. He won't vote me out if he wins challenges. Mm. And so I was going around when it was Christina, Mel, and Max were up yeah. for nomination. I was going around and I was getting all the votes on Mel. I was like, yeah. you've got to vote for Mel. You've got to vote for Mel. Think yeah. about this in the long run. Don't get rid of the strong people at the start. You mm. need to get rid of them at the end. Mm. And um, I had all the votes. Mm. Then boom, Danny and Nick come out of that fucking couch. Oh, and yeah. then Danny just boom, poof, see you later, Max. Yeah. And then that's when I was like, okay, I've got to align myself with Danny. Yeah. <laughs> He's a dominant... <laughs> Dude, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And so I aligned myself with Danny and Nick straight yeah. away. Bro, yeah. one of my favourite things that came to light was Nick is a blind painter. Like yeah, colour blind. Colour blind. Paint. That is so funny. Like, it's hilarious. I, you can only paint white. That's so funny, yeah. eh? Like, when he was saying that, and like on his on his intro video and he's saying that, we were just pissing ourselves laughing. It's hilarious, eh? Like, and when he's talking about his dog, Edwina. Yeah. Yeah, you know my platypus? <laughs> yeah. Um. He's like to me, oh, does your platypus have a name? And I'm like, no, nah, not, <coughs> not, not yet. And he, I've got a tattoo of a platypus, by the way. Um, he's like, can I name it? And he's like, I'm like, yeah, sure. What do you want to name it? He's like, Edwina. <laughs> I'm like, why Edwina? He's like, my staffie's called Edwina. <laughs> I'm like, all right, it's Edwina now. So now my platypus is Edwina. Edwina as well. Yeah. Like, that's so That's funny. what I loved about his intro when he was like, yeah, love of my life, Edwina. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then the, girlfriend, like the yeah. girlfriend in the background. Like, yeah, fuck. I can't wait to have a beer with him yeah. before the finale. We're going to the pub before the finale and we're just going to get absolutely smashed. Fuck yeah, yeah that'd be yeah, so good. Yeah. Like Fuck. no cameras, just yeah. straight up Aussie banter. Just a couple of blokes just yeah. ripping in. Yeah. Fuck, that's so good. Mm. Um, Yeah, fuck. Was so... I don't know. What was I going to say? Don't you have oh. a list, list of questions? Yeah, I do actually. I'll chuck something up before because we're really, really organised on this. <laughs> And um, <laughs> so, like, I did it 15 minutes before I picked you up. But um, don't worry, mate. I I wasn't expecting anything, anything yeah. more. Yeah, so I'm, I'm from useless. what I sit. Well, from, oh, from I'm your, hoping it today. From your posi- from your from your uh, performance at Grilled, I couldn't expect yeah, anything less. Exactly. <laughs> oh, fucking suck. Um, I, I was gonna say, like, I think people are going to realize, like, now, um, how I do fucking nothing like darcy does everything. you're the face yeah you know, all i do is chuck my face yeah you're the face so um that's yeah. the best that's the best job it's it's fucked but i've got so i've got a couple of questions here um some of them yeah fuck it, i'm gonna read them all yeah do it uh, so the first one was how badly does mitch want to punch out brenton well, well you just said that okay so. uh i don't have a problem with the guy i don't know him mm. but i will say at the finale i'm gonna flog him but <laughs> i know he could easily flog me <laughs> but i feel like on live TV, it'd be way funnier if I say it before someone films me getting king hit. <laughs> That'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't care that he got with Christina yeah. at all. <laughs> um, I'm just, you know, it's hard sometimes. Just she could have been the like, one. Just, I've been single for 10 years and Christina was the one in Brandon. Nah, I'm just dang nah, it. Fuck that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> all right, so the next six questions... Come from Franny. Um, Who's Freddie? Franny. He's Franny. Um, Mike Oxlong. Yeah. Last week he told a story about um, his mate's wife getting him a pocket pussy. Oh, nice. Yeah, like his mate's yeah. wife. Good yeah. investment. Yeah. So, um, did, did she you, get it molded the way hers looks? Um, I think so. That's nice. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't, <laughs> that, that's a little bit too expensive, I think. Yeah. Fuck that. But, um, all right. His first one. 
Did you cream pie any babes? I cream pie a sock. <laughs> um, following on from that was any pocket pussy stories, but we've got the cum sock. Um, how many wanks did you actually have? One wank in the yeah. sock. <laughs> <laughs> I've answered all these questions already. So funny. Um, was there any cunts you hated living with? Yes. Yeah. Um, SJ? Yeah. Boring. I couldn't stand. I'm not talking shit about her, but <laughs> me and her just did not vibe. Sort of hard when I, there's like I'm, a 40 I, year I, age can just, I can, I'm pretty good with seeing through people's bullshit. I know yeah. when people are being genuine and people aren't being genuine. Yeah. And um, I didn't actually want, even want to go on a date with Christina. Yeah. They set that up. I wanted to go on a date Bro. with SJ. I had a crush on SJ. I don't blame you. I know. Absolute yeah. smoke. It's just like, it's just like love that's not meant to be. Just, they said she's too old. I'm like, please, I want to go on a date with SJ. Exactly. And they just put me, they sent me out with Christina. Stuff that. Yeah. <laughs> no good. Um, anyone else? Um, probably Katie. I, yeah. I was really difficult yeah. to pretend to like her. Mm. But... It's the only, there's nothing against the girl, no yeah. personal attack against her. It's mm. just me and her are very different people. Yeah, like she's a f- vegan or whatever. Mm. She's from the northern beaches of Sydney. She yeah. talks completely different to me. Yeah, we're on a different wavelength, and yeah. so we never ever really hit it off. Vibe. Next one. Any fights that no one saw? Uh yes. Yeah. Um. So. <clears throat> I remember when Jess got put up for a eviction for the first time. She mm. went into the diary room and she bawled her eyes out. And yeah. everyone was like, oh, Jess, such a bad sport. Mm. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, crying, complaining, blah, mm. blah, blah. But she was crying because she just had a fight with Dan and Nick. And it was oh, brutal. Really? Yeah, it was about... Um, it was about Katie and um, Jess, like, snaking people or something. Like, you know how yeah. Katie would always go up to people after they won... Nominations yeah, yeah, don't vote. So Dan and Nick were calling her, Katie and Jess out on that. Yeah. And um, they got into a big, massive argument, like fucking mm. like yelling swear words at each other, proper aggressive. And then she went into the diary and was crying because she got a vic- she was she got nominated. Yeah. So it made it look like she was just crying because she got nominated. She got nominated, but, but she's got And then... Um, yeah. Good thing I didn't fucking put that on TV. Eh? I kind of wish they did. But, yeah, <laughs> fine. I'm glad, but then again, I'm glad they didn't put my wank sock on there. Yeah. <laughs> That's be, the dirtiest it'd, fucking It'd be like a flagpole by now. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Brenton, fucking hell. Yeah. Um, did you have a cock off in the house? Um, in the showers. So every morning we had a bit of a ritual. Yeah. It'd be like Marley, me, Nick would go in the shower and I'm like, Marley's going to have a big schlong. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. He's a basketball player. Yeah. And um, like me and Nick would just shower naked, whatever. And we'd talk in the shower, whatever. And yeah. like, we wouldn't have a cock off, but it would just be like, you know, you'd, <coughs> it'd be rude not to look. Yeah. See what you're up against. <laughs> That's fucking funny. So it was like a mutual cock off yeah. without telling each other. Yeah. You yeah, know what just, I mean? Just a little bit of friendly... Yeah, just like, oh yeah, yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. nice, fuck yeah. yeah, play on. Yep. Um, this guy, Braden Harvey. If you were to go back in the game, what would you do? Miss you, by the way, crying face, love heart. Um, if I were to be put back in the house, mm. depends. Because um, what being put back in the house, but like. Knowing what happened to me, like as revenge. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I would definitely um, pretend to be friends with Sid and Christina mm. and like still pretend to like Christina. Mm. But then behind her back, I'd be fucking plotting. Yeah. And I'd be saying to Danny, like, mate, I've got a really good idea about what's going on right now and mm. we need to work together as hard as we can. Yeah. And I would just, it would be all revenge. All revenge. Yeah, that's good. I wouldn't even care if I get evicted next as long as like I fucking just. F- fought my heart out yeah, to get those yeah. people out of there. That'd be so good. Yeah. Um, I wanted the true cans to come out of me. You know, drink a bottle a bottle of Bundy and fight <laughs> some people in there. Um, fuck, what else do we have? Um, ever have any of the girls on Big Brother see anything you didn't want them to see? Yes. <laughs> I remember I was like with Nick in the boys' bedroom. Yeah. And um, I remember I was like, oi, bro, guess what? This is what I do to my mum all the time. Mm. And he, he's like, what? And I'm just like... <laughs> the longest and loudest fart 
And then Nick was pissing himself <laughs> laughing. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty funny, but yeah, I didn't yeah. realize it was that funny. Yeah. And I turn around and Christina's right behind me. <laughs> and she's just like... Uh, and I'm like, oh, God. Maybe yeah, I did have a chance until I farted. Yeah, it's, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's so funny. Yeah. Um, on a rating of 1 to 10, how blind did Mitch get when he found out about Brenton and Christina? Um, I... Probably a 1. Probably... I think it was a school night. Yeah. So probably got very blind. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Play up. It's just an excuse. Yeah, fuck. Dude, I don't I don't like like me and Christina are still friends, but like Yeah. It's, not- it's just a, one of those generic situations. Yeah. Her type doesn't go for mullet and mustaches. Her type goes for generic fucking Ken dolls. Yeah. I'm like the um I'm like a a cheap version of a GI Joe doll. Like a, yeah. a Vietnamese knockoff v- GI Joe doll. But he's a, he's a Barbie Ken doll. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got two more questions. One was, how do you rate Tilly? What do you mean? Well, that's what I'm wondering. Well, well. I rate her. She um, seems so cool, man. Mate, like, Tilly, she awesome. Tilly, hands down, my favorite person in that whole house, even yeah. though she put me up for eviction, which sent me home. She thought I was genuinely a safe that's, vote. Yeah, yeah. She is a absolute legend, bro. Like, she messages me Every day, yeah. always just checks in, always checking in. She calls me like, hey, Mitch, what's going on? Like, blah, blah, blah. I'll be coming up to Cannes soon. Like, and she's just a, she's a gorgeous, just nice girl. Yeah. And like, she she played the game so well, hey. Like, yeah. like yeah, good on her. The whole dumb blonde thing she did. Yeah. Like, she's actually she's so, so intelligent. Yeah. yeah, so intelligent. I was actually, um, I was at home the other day and my sister was watching Real Housewives of Melbourne. Yeah. And I got this chick on there who's like real glammed up. She's like, I think she's like 40s or 50s and yeah. she's a barrister but she's like real attractive just doesn't look like someone who's smart I was like that, that'll that be Tilly yeah you know dude Tilly so oh, funny how she's Lord. like this is just how I talk so everyone thinks I'm fucking dumb but dude but, the thing about Tilly is man just, hey, this is how smart she is like mm. when you know how she's won so many challenges yeah. she's won five challenges yeah, now yeah she's won the most that's the most ever, yeah. yeah so in these challenges when, <coughs> when it gets down to the last two people mm. she'll start talking to the other person and mm. she'll say she'll say oh uh, like Katie I remember yeah. one was like oh don't worry Tilly I'm not going to vote for you I'm not going to vote for you and so yeah. it's like alright but can we at least get to three hours I want to yeah. I want to hit three hours I was like, oh, and then no. Tilly pretended she was about to give up which made mm. Katie a bit more relaxed and then mm. that got into Katie's head Yeah. and the thing about Tilly is is he, her dad's a psychologist True. so she knows so how to get in people's heads shit. Yeah, that's yeah. so good so she would just like loosen people up like yeah. right at the end of the challenges like even with SJ when she was stuck in that position the other yeah. night yeah yeah Fuck, it's so good. Um, now, we've got one more question um, at the moment. Coming in from um, old Greg. <laughs> Fucking Nick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you ask Mitch if he had, in capitals, Paul Kelly in the BB house? Regards, Nick BB. <laughs> Did Nick write that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what yeah. a legend. <clears throat> so funny. Hang on. Let me call him. Yeah, righto. You got another mic? Yeah, give us two seconds. <laughs> Fuck, it's going to be so funny. All right, I'm going to answer his question live. Yeah, cool. Let's see if he actually answers. Hopefully. This could all be for nothing. Oh, Greg. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, you big fella. Hey, brother. What's going on? Ah, oh, fuck all. I just finished work. What the fuck was that question, Paul, Paul Kelly? A wank. <laughs> Dude, I, knew I, it. I was just talking about it, about my wank sock that I had in the, my bottom drawer next to my bed. <laughs> and I, I was saying to, I was saying on the podcast that, um, I was saying that, oh, Brenton took my bed. Which is like I was like fucking Brenton like takes my missus takes my bed and then I realised when I when it when you guys all packed my stuff when I before I got evicted I got to the hotel room and my wank sock wasn't in there. The stiffest socks in the world. Yeah, it was a bloody flagpole, mate. And so my wank sock was still in Brenton's drawer, the bottom drawer. So he would have rocked up to pack his stuff. I heard he picked the sock up out of the drawer and it's oh. 
<laughs> Mate, I heard that he used it in the next challenge. Oh, fuck that card. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to clarify with you what Paul Kelly meant. Yeah, Paul Kelly. Yeah, I, Paul. I remember I woke up, um, it was day 18, and I had a feeling I was going home the next day, and I woke up with the biggest morning glory of my life. And, Just um, relieve a bit of tension. Yeah, bro. yeah, and I woke <laughs> up, and all you guys were asleep, and I'm like, I've got to reach into my sock drawer, but I've got to be real sneaky. Got to hoist the leg up under I, the doona. I wasn't asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's Just the bike what... sitting in the corner of the room Having a good time as well I, I heard you go like a rabbit for three and a half seconds <laughs> <laughs> Mate, 18 days without a flog <laughs> and with, with... That makes two of us <laughs> <laughs> And like the things that were walking around Like, you know, this is this was post. This is post Christina date. Yeah, nah, Christina was shit out. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, that's great. Oh, I was just clarifying with you that with that with you, old Greg. <laughs> hey, ha- right. how, how's Greggy? Greggy's very small and shriveled up at the minute. <laughs> oh, are, are you ever going to get him uh, burnt off, or are you going to leave him? I think I'm gonna leave him. Yeah, I would be really disappointed yeah. if you if you if you got him burnt off. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, look, I'm gonna leave him, and and if if there is a company out there that um, wants me to influence mole burning on testicles, <laughs> that's when I that's when I'd think about it. <laughs> but, Sponsor of this week's podcast Greggy, is mole fucking. Yes. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. I, I'm that keen to meet up with you at the pub before the finale. <laughs> nah, it, what do you, what, the, the day before or three days before? What day? What I don't know. Day? Well, maybe if we meet up three days before and don't sleep till the finale. That'd be a great bender. Oh, That'd make for great television. Barry. The old Barry Bender. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I, I really want to make some big calls on live TV because they can't edit this one. Yes, and a little bit of Colombian fighting gear. <laughs> <laughs> well, get Carlos involved. <laughs> oh, that's going to be good. All right, bro. Oh, I'm going to love you and leave you. See you on June 27, bro. Yeah, fucking oath, mate. Keen as. See you, see you big fella. See you, bro. Catch you, mate. Bye. Fuck, that's awesome. That was uh, what a legend. that was that was Nicholas from Big Brother. I was pretty devastated when he went home. So as yeah, well, uh, you're probably a bit confused about the. Um, I was wondering about the Greg thing. Yeah, hey? so old Greg. Yeah, his name is old Greg on Instagram. Yeah. Um, so it all his uh, wart on his his ball sack <laughs> is called Greggy. That's so funny. And then he watched the Mighty Boosh episode. I'm old Greg. <laughs> yeah. So his name's old, old Greg. Old Greg. So, so he'd be like. He'd be like in the house, he'd be like, you wanna, <coughs> do you want to see my friend Greggy? <laughs> He'd say it, there, and it would be like, all right. He gets out his ball sack. See that Greg. wart there? That's Greggy. That's Greggy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. What a legend. Fucking just finishing work on a Sunday now. Like, true Aussie battler. We thank you for it. Yeah, he's a bloody true painter, colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucked. Mm. Uh, I'll just see if there's any more. No, that was the last question. So, um, Oi, can I get another beer from downstairs? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's yeah, all right. Yeah. Dude, I'm so <laughs> stoked Nick answered Yeah, bro. So he seems like, was he like your best mate in the house? Yeah. Reckon, him and Danny? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Him and Danny were like, oh, we were tight as. Yeah. Yeah, and we're, we're both as dumb as each other. So when he put me in the cage, we were like, that seems like a good idea. <laughs> He's like, Mitch is safe because everyone likes Mitch, but I'll sort out SJ and Sid from down here. I'm like, it's a good idea, man. <laughs> and I went up in the cage. Everyone was getting smaller and smaller. I'm like, Oh, God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I- I'm going home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck that. Mm. Um, have you seen anyone outside of the house since? Nah. No. Nah. I'm, like, I'm in Brisbane this weekend and like yeah. Charlotte and, um, and um, <laughs> Chris, the magician, <laughs> I, I wanted to hang out. But um, like I'm down for an mate's engagement party. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm down to see my mates, not people I spent the house. Like yeah, spent yeah. spent in a house for a couple of days, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah, for sure. Those people, I love all of them. Yeah, <laughs> except for one or two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I would never, I would never. There's a lot of them in there that I would never ever cross paths with in yeah. their life. You know what I mean? Fuck, who was it? Um, one of the boys from work was saying like, it's just fucked how many different like older people in there as well. Yeah, like, I know. like, 
what did he say? He wanted just a bunch of 25-year-olds who just go in there and just go to town. Yeah, bloody oath. Did you get on the piss march? Bro, this is what did our head in, man. Mm. So we are so hungry all day for, yep. on rations. Mm. My, my breakfast would be oats, a yep. cup of oats. Bloody lunch would be a bit of spinach and can of tuna. Fuck. Lunch, uh, dinner would be like a bit of pasta. It was literally just, we were just getting by. So we yeah. had to win the, the food challenges to get mm. money for the house, mm. for food. And so the thing that would, like we'd look forward to the most was alcohol. So yeah. every three days we'd get probably two beers each. Fuck. So after an eviction, Big Brother would organize a couple of beers for us. But it's like, what the fuck but, are we going to do with two beers? Yeah, exactly. Can't we really we can't, up. we can't like feel anything from two beers. Yeah. We can't drown our sorrows from two, two beers. beers. And, but that's the thing they want to happen. They want you to be mentally like fatigued, fatigued and, in yeah. the head. Like the yeah. old big brother, they were getting blind every Friday night after yeah. Friday night games. It'd be so much fun. Yeah. Like the, the chick I did the podcast with Tully, she said, yeah, it was yeah. pretty much a holiday. They'd sunbake all day, not allowed to talk about nominations and they get yeah. blind. And then when they get evicted, they win a car. So, yeah, it's so scat, bro. Fuck. Like, I got paid 150 bucks a day for being on the show. Yeah. Doesn't sound like much, but you're not spending it Pretty on Pretty good anything. when you're not spending it. And I was yeah. in there for 20. days. Mm. And then I got paid for the whole... Like I did the two weeks quarantine afterwards. Yeah. So that 14 days, I got paid 150 bucks a day and didn't Fuck. have to pay for the quarantine. And then I got $80 a day um, food allowance. And they tried to trick me mm. because the Uber Eats couldn't get to the... Um, couldn't get to the hotel in the, at the airport. Yeah. It was too far <clears> away. So I was like, I'm going to get Woolworths to deliver me $80 worth of cheese every day. And so I got all the expensive cheese. And then when my mate picks me up after my 14 days quarantine, I had a big bag of expensive cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and we just went back to his and had a barbecue. I'm like, yeah, cheese. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Because it's something that won't go off, you know? Yeah, like yeah. It's something that's expensive and then you can yeah. leave it, you know? Fuck, that's so good. Yeah. Those dirty dogs. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Um, yeah, no, I was there. Dude, actually, something that... Um, that rock, oh, why am I turning my light on? Um, something that rocked us a bit. All the challenges are all like... That's cute, physical. Mate. Oh, thanks, mate. Pink-haired missus. Yeah, yeah It's like the Lazy Town chick. <laughs> <laughs> What's that song? So good. Um, if you do the cookie, mother, the cake. Yeah, she sings that as well. And it's then, then, then who comes out? Yo, 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 <laughs> break it down, bitch. Yeah, yeah, I fucking love that. I love that shit. Um, yeah, dude, something that rocked all of us was how like every challenge was like physical, bro. Like this is what absolutely did my head in, mm. and me and Nick hated it. Was mm. all the chicks were winning because all the challenges that we did mm. were all body weight. Yeah. So, like the one we we're holding this, we we're holding yeah. onto our body weight. And when we were holding the bar with the balloon, yeah. that we were holding a percentage of our body weight. Yeah, it was like 15%. It was all body right? weight. Mm. And so it's just like, obviously, the small people are going to win mm. these challenges. Yeah. Yeah, because like, what? Marley, a professional basketball player, mm. out straight away. Bloody Nick, like cricket player, yeah. tall guy, heavy bloke, out straight away. Yeah. And then um, even like uh, Katie, like didn't mm. last in those challenges. But like, just like... The smaller people just always came yeah. through, you know? That male like, chick was surprisingly strong well, she, as well, eh? Mate, farmer. she grew up in a bloody rough part of Australia, mate. Like, yeah. she is in a... Pla like, her farm doesn't have fresh water. She yeah, has to go yeah. get water from, yeah, and fuck. filled up. Yeah, like, she is a tough chick, man. Yeah. And that mentality, growing up tough, mm. and the, all those challenges were mostly mental than physical because yeah. it's like, who can stand the most pain? Yeah. You know? Yeah, like, she was awesome. To yeah, watch, she though. can just, like... The pain is nothing to her. Yeah. She's had given birth three times as well. Like, it's yeah. just nothing. I was hoping she'd win for yeah, um, she, I love Mel. Yeah, she's a legend as well. I talk to her fan. all the time as well. Yeah. Yeah, and we always just, like, tell each other goss and stuff. Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. yeah. See if anyone else has any more questions in. But... I wonder if my mate has sent something in yet. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, here we go. Holy fuck. We've got right. a few, eh? Hey? Um... Someone said, what a fucking champion, couple of shuckers, cans and cans with that warrior 100%. I just made a cans and cans joke too. <laughs> you did. <laughs> People are onto you. Um, <clears throat> random questions. What is Mitch's favorite color, number, and star sign? Okay. My favorite color would probably be um, blue. Yeah. Favorite number is 47. Yeah. Why 47? 
It's a long story. <laughs> I should definitely not say it yeah, on this podcast. Right, it's not a story we should get into. <laughs> but 47 is a number that pops up way too much in my life. And every time it pops up, I'm like, oh my God. Here we go again. No, literally, for the, the number 47... Ever since this inside joke came between me and my mates, it has popped up like <laughs> all the time. Like, look at this. Um, 47. Yeah, this uh, tattoo artist I follow. Yeah. Um, just the other, this is just a prime example. Look, look who his latest victim got tattooed on the back of his neck. 47. 47. Wow. My mate today <sighs> sent me a Snapchat of him measuring, he was trying to put some paintings up in his. Um, house he measured from the windowsill to the painting with a measuring tape yeah 47 centimeters exactly and we're what? like how is this number keep popping up like it's just ridiculous and every time we're watching the footy and like i remember one time one team was like four errors and then seven errors and i was like 47, 47. i was like oh and we all text each other like, 47 47 <laughs> yeah that's so scary and star sign probably um favorite star sign probably big Medi. Yeah, that's, that's my favourite. Yeah. yeah, the big the big dipper. Fuck yeah. The big dip out. <laughs> big midi. Yeah. Big fucking midi. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, your mate again has asked, is Mitchell sesh? <laughs> yes. Oh, mate, I don't sesh. <laughs> I just don't sleep for three days. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> but I remember when we were working together, because um, I remember one of your old housemates turned out it was a bloke that I was good mates with. You yeah, know, I just yeah. never knew her. Good old Hamish Tights. Hi, Hamish. How are you, mate? Hamish. How are you? Um, and I remember he used to tell me how he had this housemate where he'd just be like, I'll see you on Tuesday, on a Monday, because, oh, sorry, on a Friday, because um, you just go out and have a bit of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got you to rip the lid off. Well, mate, I was, I was letting my hair down because I was doing part time study and yeah. I was at the end of my degree and I was just having yeah. a bit of fun. And, um, I'd always be like on yeah. the Friday to Hamish and I'd see you on Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> yes. so funny, bro. Um, I actually got something. Because you did animation. Hey, are you going to be releasing your videos on YouTube again, do you reckon? Yeah. yeah well, I can, I can fucking put a couple links in for yeah. this potty. Fuck yeah, definitely. <laughs> I remember like, what have you got? Matthew, my nephew? Yeah, well, I've a got a one. new I've got a new series at the moment. It's yeah. called Winnie the Blue. Winnie the Blue. What's and Winnie the Blue? Oh, man, you want to know what Winnie yeah, the Blue is? Yeah, what's Winnie the Blue? I fucking... <laughs> The main character's name's Winnie. Yeah. And he is a cigarette from a packet of Winnie Blues. Fuck yeah. And so he escapes his cigarette packet from before being smoked. Yeah. And he's on the run on the street. Like, it's like the apocalypse for a cigarette. And he's everywhere he looks, there's cigarette butts, dead people to him. Yeah. And so there's this homeless person that's just chasing him because homeless people... <laughs> Picking up dumpers. Yeah, yeah. And so he's just like, fuck, I need to get out of here, blah, blah. He finds a secret bar, a base where mm. other um, durries have gone to for shelter. Yeah. And it, every single main character is a different brand of cigarette. So his, his, his best mate is Champ Ruby. Yeah. And then uh, Camel is yep. um, just a cigarette with a camel face and just go, <laughs> and then vape is the Clarence of the group. No one likes no vape. One likes he talks him. in a Microsoft sandbox. Hello, my name is vape. And it's just like, <laughs> shut the fuck up, vape. Get out of here. You fake durry. Like, and then, um, like there's three different races. Yeah. There's tailors, mm. rollies. Yeah. And then cigars. True. And so there's a race war between the cigar uh, between the Rollies and Taylors with mm. the cigars, and so the Cuban cigar tell <laughs> uh, 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 at a race war with the with the cigarettes. Yeah, and um, because <coughs> they own the town, and they they if you you step out of line, they've got a, a goldfish that that is addicted to nicotine, and they feed any cigarette to this goldfish. It's pretty brutal, but yeah, like there's this funny puns in it, like. Like, they'll see a chick walk through the bar and obviously the chick is going to be a menthol durry. Mm. And so the chick will walk through and be like, oh, dude, check out her butt. And then <laughs> the chick's there taking a f selfie and then she goes, hashtag no filter. <laughs> 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 and then she goes, what's your star sign? Are you a Rolly or a Taylor? Like just, Oh, my God. Yeah, just stuff like that. Fuck, and, that's so good. And then Winnie is um, also a... Um, he's really good at skateboarding. He has a yeah. tech deck <laughs> that he skateboards on. Yeah, Fuck, do you sick. want to show you the trailer? Yeah, let's do it. We'll, have to, it. We'll, we'll send the link for the trailer because I used to love watching all these. Yeah, I'll upload the trailer. Things. I'll upload the trailer for sure. Um, let's have a look. You'll actually dig know. it, I reckon. That is so brutal. You never yeah. think about cigarettes in that light, do you? 
Yeah, you after you watch this cartoon series, you'll be like, "Fuck, fuck I should stop poor, smoking cigarettes." They've got, diaries. they've got, they've got feelings. Fuck yeah! All right, last question. See if we can. <laughs> okay, don't don't do that. Yeah, one. no, we won't be doing that. That's the <laughs> that's, end of the that's my that's my mate yeah, camel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my mate camel. <laughs> fuck, it's so good. <laughs> um, anything else you want to cover off, mate? Oh, mate, just want to say. Fuck you, Channel 7. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mitty should not have gone that yeah, early. Exactly. I'm not a sore loser, but Jesus Christ, mate. Seriously? You bring SJ and Mary back and not me? Yeah, that was a bit of a... It was a bit of a letdown. Like, I, mean, I was, I was playing the so game much. very well. I was doing so well. Everyone yeah. liked me. I would wake up at 5 a.m. every morning and bake the whole house bread. Yeah. Why would you get rid of someone that does yeah, that? Yeah, I know. I'll tell you what, I fucked up, though. The day before my eviction, I taught Sid how to make the bread. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, I do remember you saying something about that. Yeah, I taught. I well, taught. Said, I, yeah. yeah, I taught Sid how to make the bread recipe, and um, then he evicted me the next day. I'm like, no, I gave him the bread power. Yeah, no, that's. Yeah, I was wondering how much you could get away with in there. Mm. Uh, mm. Be very sneaky. Well, I definitely got away with wanking in a sock. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, oh, that's that's my that's. That's fucked. Imagine being Brent. I'm just a normal that. bloke, and I, yeah. I, it was 18 days. What, Everyone has needs. I had to do it. Yeah. Okay, if I didn't mate. do it then and there, it would have happened in my sleep. Yeah. And Look, no I'm one, not judging. No one wants sticky sheets. No, exactly. Exactly. I was a so. smart guy. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I wonder if I've had to deal with that much, eh? Hey? Yeah. Well. Oh, well. Is what it is. Yeah. Clog showers and shit. Yeah. Bloody yeah. Yeah. Well, mate. If there's nothing else to cover off, we've been going for an hour now. So, um. It's time flies when you're talking shit. Bloody, it's absolutely been a, yeah. absolutely mate, it's been a pleasure. Been a pleasure. It's been great to have and you. And mate, on. I couldn't couldn't say this enough. This is why I went downstairs and got another bootstrap. This beer is unreal. Fuck yeah. Glad this you is, like it. This is beautiful, mate. Like I was expecting something like more klutzy. Yeah, like, like a real like low lager. budget yeah. shitty beer. Yeah. Sit <laughs> <S-s-s-s-s-> everyone said I. <laughs> but this is so- all time, bro. <laughs> Even the fucking packaging on it. Yeah. Like, look at that logo. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the Jeeps for it. Mate, that is awesome. That's GPS colors, isn't yeah, it? Mate, yeah, mate. The greatest show on turf. Yep. Gotta nice. fucking love it. Mate, this is absolute. This is hint of fruit. Mm. And I love the a bit of tang as well. Mm. A little, little tangy, yeah. I reckon I could drink 10 of these things, eh? Yeah, fuck yeah. That is beautiful. Yeah, they're good for a sesh. They knock you around. Yeah, bloody oath, They're mate. fucking awesome. So. Unreal beer. Yeah. I'm glad I'm finally able to oh, bloody drink one. Glad you can get your And you guys need to sort minutes. your shit out and, and send some up to Cairns. I know a few pubs I would take your beer yeah, on. Yeah, fuck yeah. I want to get it up there. It'd be awesome. Yeah, bloody oath. Be sick. Mm. All right, well, mate, thanks for coming on. Mm. Um, we'll fucking... I don't know, this will be out. Recording on a Sunday. Oh, from the Caxton. Probably should mention that. Das isn't here to do that. Shout out to the Caxton. I love the Caxton. I always came here after a Broncos game, after the Cowboys defeated the Broncos. Oh, I love the Caxton just because it was a great place to come to to take the piss out of the people that went for the Broncos. So yep. thank you for that. And I couldn't agree more. So <laughs> fucking thank you. Thank you to the Caxton for always providing us with that. Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. All right, well, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Fucking, I don't know, share it with someone, do whatever. and uh, I'll, I'll be sharing it. Uh, I'm, and I'm sorry to all the people that I offended. Uh, it was just a game. So you've got to just realize that. But also, fuck you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, go to bed with a mirror and wake up to yourself. Yes. So go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Cheers, brother. Give him fucking heaps. Yeah, bloody oath, yeah, mate. Cheers for having me on.